Well, first of all, congratulations. How are you feeling? I'm good, thank you. A uh, few stitches, but I feel good. I see you've got a, a ice pack on your foot. What's going on there? Man, I don't know how he took that front kick to the face. My foot is hurting. I kicked his face so hard, but he stood up, took the shot. You know, I was surprised. Do you think it might be broken? No, nah, no, nah, nah, none of that. It's just I'm a bit soft right now after the win, you know. Let me be soft a little bit. I've been tough this whole fight camp, you know. Now it's my time to let loose a little bit. <laughs> How difficult was this fight camp with your brother fighting a week before and the stakes so high? Was it any different than any other fight camp? Like? Yeah, it, it was different. But we're used to this. Like I said, never, never uh, this level, you know, never the stakes have never been so high. Um, but we're always fighting around the same time. Last time we fought on the same day, he was in Europe, you know, whilst I was fighting here in the Apex. Um, so we're used to this, you know. But for sure, it was a lot riding on this fight, you know. Was, ha was having him fight a week before and winning, like, a really good, you know, motivation for you going in, or would it wouldn't have mattered for you either way? To be honest with you, I don't think it would have mattered. I, you know, I don't want to discredit his win because that did pump me up and it was a great win but I don't, it, these things they don't matter because I'm my own fighter he's his own fighter you know uh, we feed off each other for sure we feed off each other's energy but I do that with my teammates I do that with everyone you know at the end of the day I've got my job to do he's not going to win the fight for me just because he looked good out there doesn't mean I'm going to look good out there you know and vice versa and we know that we keep it real you know you know, we asked your brother this a couple of days ago. Would you guys want to fight on a card together, or do you prefer to not be fighting on the same day? Preferably not uh, to fight on the same day, but again, if the money's right, we can, we can, we can work something out. <laughs> How soon do you want to get back in there? Do you, do you see yourself fighting again this year? Um, I think around January would be a, a, a good time, you know. I want to, now that I took out the wrestler, let me, let me get, uh, I've fought two grapplers now, basically. Trevin Jones, Black Bull Jiu-Jitsu, D1 wrestler, Tony Gravely. Now let me get a striker. Let me get um, Davey Grant, you know. He's a striker. He likes the bang. He's from England. I'm from England, too. Let's see who's the best in England. Thank you so much. Good. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, well, what was the game plan going into that fight? The game plan was pretty much what happened, you know. Out-wrestle him, out-strike him. Um, I knew I was the better wrestler. I knew I was a better striker, but the headbutt changed a lot, you know, because this, it didn't just happen once, it happened twice. <clears throat> um, it gave him a bit of momentum, but not just momentum, it was, uh, I had to kind of change up my stance a little bit because every time I got low, he would headbutt me. And I found it kind of crazy that there was no points deducted, you know, because it was a damaging shot. And the fact that it happened a second time, it's like, come on, you got to deduct a point. I know it's an accident, but... I can kick you in the balls. It can be an accident too, you know. But, uh, you know, we, at the end of the day, it's an illegal shot. How many stitches was it? I don't even know. It looked like a lot. But I don't know. I, I tried to ask the guy, but he didn't. I think I asked him four times, the doctor, but he didn't tell me. I didn't think he wanted to scare me. But I was like, bro, just tell me. You know? um, was Tony as tough as you thought he was? Honestly, I thought he was going to fall down uh, a lot earlier. I hit him with a crazy uppercut, wobbled, blinked like four times right in front of me. But he kept his composure. Um, the front kick, too. I know it just slid off him a little bit. Uh, I watched the replay again. But that's still clean enough to knock a lot of people out. Uh, the main thing he impressed me with was I kind of expected it because he's 30 fights uh, deep. Um, but at the same time, he, he was very composed, you know, because he's going in there with a high-level striker, and he's composed. He's holding his own. He's giving shots back. You know, he's not panic wrestling as much as I thought he would be. Um, yeah, and he was composing himself. I did see, feel him break a little bit. But you guys didn't really see it because he kept fighting through, which is credit to him. That David Grant call out is fantastic. Yeah. Um, I mean, do you want that maybe in London next, ne early next year, or, or does it matter? Yeah, so here's the thing. Lo London, I'm hearing, is March. I don't know if I want to wait till March. January would make sense, you know? So, and then hopefully we can squeeze one in in London uh, in March. But Ramadan's coming up too again. So this one took a long time to get booked. I was supposed to fight in London too. Uh, couldn't get matched, and we just were here in September. And it's all right, alhamdulillah, everything works out. Uh, everything happens for a reason. I made some great improvements this camp, and it's good. Actually, for me, well, where does Snow Leopard come from? The Snow Leopard, you like it? I love it. Yeah, um, it's a, 
it's the snow leopard, if you do your research, it's a very elusive creature, you know, and I fight very elusive, it's a very tough creature, even though my face right now looks like a mess, but these are from headbutts, I'm not expecting somebody's head to run at me, if we was in a, in a street fight, yeah, then I have no excuses, but hey, we're in an MMA fight, you know, the headbutts shouldn't be happening, but yeah, it's a very tough animal too, and more importantly, it's the national animal of Afghanistan, so it's just a perfect fit. Makes perfect sense. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you.